If you too struggle to open a jam jar, or you are asking yourself how are the holes on an Ambi Plus, this video is made for you. My first experience on an Ambi Plus has been on Perfecto Mundo. In the past few years the cracks of Perfecto Mundo became very famous and you probably know very well the holes on the cracks. The one finger pocket and the pinch. My second experience was on change. On the first cracks, the holes are very tiny. But before and after these cracks, in both routes, there are some good holes. and on these holes it's possible to rest and they divide the route in different hard sections and I don't know why but I like to wear a red shirt when I climb in something at my limit both of these routes are very long, there are very hard and tiny holes, but they both have some jugs at some point. <laughs> a totally different story is Erebor. Even if it's a bit easier than the Chuna MB+, it is shorter and has no good holes. And now we will see in details every hold of the route. First footholds are very good. No, no, queste sono le scale, la via è lì. Ah, ok, sorry. The only holds I can consider good are the very first two. And since it's possible to place a right heel hook, the first part is not very hard. After the first two quick throws, there is a edge where it's possible to shake a bit. And from here, the real pain starts. The first crux is the hardest of the route. And precision with hands and feet has to be millimetrical. For this reason, it was easy to make mistakes and I fell here dozens of times. It took me some time to consider this mushroom hold as a hold and not as a drawing on the wall. But fortunately, there are some good and in-cut creams to rest a bit. From there, I reached two tiny creams where the jump starts. The right landing hold is not bad, but the left is almost nothing, so it's not possible to rest here. And I had to figure out a few tricks to clip 
and to move my right hand to have place for the heel. In fact, the next holes are very bad and the only thing that make me stay on the wall is my right heel. And then the opposite thing happened. My right foot is smearing on the wall and I reach this good undercling that I call small tooth. From here the wall becomes less overhanging and I reach the rest of the route which is not very comfortable. Even if these holes are quite tiny, it is important to take full advantage of this rest because from there starts the last boulder of the route. It took me a long time to find out the sequence and the only solution I found holding these two holes was a double toe hook and then a heel hook sequence. And again here, very close to the top, I fell more than 10 times, every time coming from the ground. And this was how it was supposed to be climbed. More or less. The heel look is not that bad. But the hardest thing was to be very precise with the pumps on my forearms. And the next screams are very tiny. But fortunately, there is a good jug to clip the chain. No, I'm kidding, there is no jug to clip the chain. And I was a bit worried to fall with the rope in my hand. È stato più facile fare la via o fare questo video? È stato più facile fare la via, <ride> prendere tutte le prese. È stato un, un'odissea. Ma this was the easiest version of the route that I climbed last January. And now have a look to the hardest version, which is still a project and I still have to figure out how to pass. The route is the same until the jump, and then it goes straight on the right. <laughs> Not to this. No, tieni! Questa è la versione più difficile della via, dopo il dinamico l'ha presa un po' più buona, mi sposto più verso destra, in realtà la linea più logica è questa qui perché è più dritta, però ci sono prese 
abbastanza inesistenti l'unico che ho trovato sono questa micro tacca vicino allo speed qua che si riesce un po' a arcuare poi c'è un'altra tacca qua leggermente più buona e poi c'è una presa buona qua vicino però non, non ci arrivo e quindi devo capire come strizzare queste due per arrivare a quella buona no non mi muovo proprio but sometimes the difference between a good or a bad hold is just relative Che spento le luci?